Hey there, and hope you're having a great day. I'm Lucy Martin, and if you're watching this video, you probably saw Chris Howe's photography challenge video over on his page, which will be linked down there or somewhere around here. This is my first talking to the camera type video, so I'll figure out where the link goes after this. But anyway, check out the video on his page. Myself and two other photographers did a shoot with the same model, the same location, same lens, same camera, and we sort of just wanted to show how all photographers see things differently and have a different perspective on things. It sounded like you guys really liked it, but I got a lot of messages saying that you wanted to see the whole editing process. So thought, hey, I'm here, I'm answering this anyway, so I might as well just film a little video as one does. As one does, that was a, that was an oddly formal thing to say, but I'm gonna leave it in because, you know, so I thought I would do a little walkthrough on my actual editing process that I did on these photos. Now, if you have Lightroom and you like the way these photos look, I actually exported all the settings I used into a preset that I'm giving away just totally for free. Why is it free? Well, I've never actually shared any of my presets out into the world before at all. So before I move up to doing any, any paid preset packs or anything like that, I would love for you to download this one, try it on your photos and give me some feedback on, on how they worked and show me it on some of your pictures. I would totally love that. So without further ado, let's move on to the walkthrough. All right, so we're here in Lightroom and this is the raw unedited photo. So as you can see, there is lots of room to really fix up this photo, bring out the colors, bring up the exposure and all around just bring it to life. So I'm gonna click on the preset here just to show you what we're gonna be working on right now. And boom, now the photo is really popping. But what I love most about this preset is that it still looks natural. These are the real colors from the scene. They're just slightly enhanced. So let's go and reset that and I'm gonna show you all the settings that I used to make this preset. All right, so let's start in this first main panel of Lightroom. Here you can really do a lot of quick fixes. Normally I start here, go through my other edits and then come back just to polish everything up. So on this photo, I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a bit and then I'm gonna take down the highlights a lot and bring up the shadows. And this really just kind of evens out all the tones in the photos. I'm gonna do that as well on the whites and the blacks. And then I always like to bring up the clarity a bit. I think it kind of makes it sharper and then also adds a little bit of contrast there. Now we move down to the tone curve, which I think is probably the most powerful part of Lightroom. You can really completely change a feeling and the vibe of a photo here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this up on the bottom there, not too much but in the red, green, and blue channel, I'm gonna make an S curve in each of them. Now, as you do them one at a time, your, your, the colors are gonna look kind of crazy, but do it for each of them, and then it all kind of comes together, and you'll see what I mean right now. So I'm really liking the way this is looking. I like the colors. We're gonna just tweak them a little bit in the HSL sliders. Do a few tweaks on the red, on the orange, the one thing, there's some really pretty yellow tones in here, so I'm gonna bring up the luminance just so those are a bit brighter. And again, with the green, you see a lot of the green here, so I'll play with that a bit, and the aquas. I'm gonna bring up the sharpening. I do that on almost all of my photos just to get that really crisp look and add in a little bit of grain because, hey, it looks cool. Some people go tons of grain. I just like a little bit, like just a hint that it's there. All right, so at this point, I'm pretty happy with the photo. It's looking really good all around. The only thing now is that I'm gonna do a few additions with the brush tool. So go over here, click on the brush, and I like the subject to kind of stand out a bit more. So I'm gonna pick the exposure brush, cover Joelle, and now she's kind of just standing out even more. The other thing is the iris enhance tool is a must, so go do that on both the eyes. And then the only other thing that I don't love about this photo is the color of the marble. So I'm just gonna go make a temperature brush, warm it up, and put that all across the marble. And now all the colors seem really, really great. And that is basically it. Like I said, it still has a really natural vibe. It doesn't look over edited, which is a style that I really, really like. 
So there you have it. That is exactly how I edited those photos. So you can follow along and try it out on your own pictures, or if you want the shortcut version, click on the link below, download the totally free preset, and then you can just slap that on your photo, customize it up a bit, it'll look great. And then when it's done, send it over to me, and I'll look at it, and I'll message you back, and I'll be like, hey, this looks so awesome, you rock. Um, that's exactly, exactly how it's gonna go down. Anyway, stay tuned for some more videos because this was actually really fun, so there's gonna be more coming soon. Until then, stay awesome.